It was Seneca Valley's offense that produced first with an impressive 13-play, 69-yard drive to start the game. Gabe Lawson was a perfect 5-for-5 five five passing, converting a third and nine to Luke Smith to the NA 11-yard line. Lawson also picked up 13 yards rushing on the drive, including the final two for the touchdown. But the extra point was blocked and it was 6-0 Seneca Valley. The Raiders got into scoring position again and clearly had the momentum, but North Allegheny special teams rose to the occasion again, blocking a 37-yard field goal by Seth Winner. Those two blocks would end up being the margin of difference. The high-octane Tiger offense ran just six first-quarter plays, but they got hot in the second, putting together a 13-play drive that started at their own nine, a 41-yard run by Luke Colella, the big play. A 20-yard field goal by Isaac West. The Tigers cut the lead in half, 6-3. Then maybe the key offensive play of the game. Quarterback Ben Petschke to Luke Colella for 41 yards. Luke's older brother, Joey, sneaked it in from the two. West added the extra point. He had a big night punting as well, 10-6 at the half. The extra point is up. The extra point is good. Tonight it was our own line doing all the work. Every Everyone was making plays on offense, but the O-line's out there battling for us, and they deserve all the credit. So how cool is it? to play with your brother and you guys are going to look back and talk about games like this for the rest of your life. Do you realize that now? Yeah, it's unbelievable, man. It's a, it's a crazy feeling to play alongside him. I wouldn't want to do it any other way and it's just a blessing to be out here. NA enjoyed great field position in the second half, but twice Seneca Valley's defense forced fumbles and an interception to keep it tight. The Raiders' best chance came after the Connor Hayes interception. It put the ball at the NA 27 in the fourth quarter, but on the very next play, Joey Porter Jr. intercepted the halfback option pass by Matt Stanger, and after a scoreless second half, NA hangs on 10 to six. It feels great. We've got to keep working. We can't, can't slow down now. We've got to get all the way to the playoffs and win. Seneca Valley's team motto this year is grind, and this game certainly was a grind. Both teams have a lot to be proud of. For now, North Allegheny remains the only unbeaten team in 6A football but you get a feeling these two could possibly meet again somewhere down the road in the playoffs.